Good afternoon. Uh, today I wanted to go over testing uh, the authenticity of your silver with with magnets. Uh, this particular magnet here, uh, these two are hard drive magnets from I believe either the late 80s or the early 90s. Um, they don't usually put neodymium magnets this large in hard drives anymore. Uh, luckily I was able to to get these though and then this little baby on the end this is uh, I believe it's a two and a half inch neodymium so um, very powerful especially when stacked together like this they uh, usually get even more powerful it's, yeah there's some kind of uh, iron reinforcement in the table there so uh, to start off I had this this Canadian maple I picked up um, say 19 1988 this is the first year they came out it's still in the uh, the Royal Canadian Mint original packaging but um, I wasn't I just wasn't convinced that it was that it was real um, just due to this severe tarnishing I hadn't really seen any tarnishing like this before in a coin so uh, trying to do this left-handed. I probably should have put the camera on the other side. There we go. So I'm not physically touching the coin here or the plastic. I think you can see the find a sweet spot on this sometimes. Like I can feel a lot of resistance, definitely. Anyway, so this one has been verified uh, to a certain extent based on the magnetic properties. Um, but yeah, so this is actually kind of a lot of fun to do. I, I made a, a video of uh, this a minute ago when I first learned about it and it was kind of an ADD video so I'm gonna I'm making this one so it's not so freaking boring because I, I spent about 10 minutes just doing what you're looking at right now which isn't <laughs> yeah yeah so this is uh, the uh, Canadian Cougar. I guess it's a, it's a maple, but it's got the cougar instead of the maple. Um, and then it's got some 90% some actually I haven't tested all these. So. And I know this, this scratching sound sounds terrible on the camera. It sounds like I'm utterly decimating these coins, but it's it sounds a little bit worse than it is, I believe. Shit. Yeah. I actually touched that with my thumb that time. I'm not particularly gentle with this junk silver anyway. It's already these things are so uh, these things are ridiculously worn. I actually weighed them and they don't even they don't even weigh the full amount. I think all of all of these are supposed to weigh I think uh, 2.5 ounces and I think it only weighs 2.4. Either it's supposed to be 2.6 and it weighs 2.5, something like that. Um, let's see what else. I did notice that it's I've got this uh I got this 
um, one tenth ounce gold coin from U.S. Coins the other day. They had a sale. I got this for 181, so I, I feel like I really ripped them off there, but um, it's not bad. I'm excited to have it. I'll, I'll definitely use it in the future if uh, if I'm able. They usually just sell numismatic stuff, though, not really any uh, bullion for stacking like what we do. Yeah. So anyway, this thing doesn't it doesn't respond at all, which is you know, that's expected. Um, and then the uh, the dollar, the U.S. dollar coin, silver eagle. And, and this thing will slide around like a hockey puck in this uh, plastic case. Yeah. The, thing is, is uh, I'll probably start bringing this magnet with me when I buy coins. Um, it's, it's, it's a very, especially with a magnet this large. I've got other neodymium magnets out of hard drives, and they're just not as uh, you can't feel the resistance as well. But you can when you're when you're rolling over like this. There's definitely a uh, a lag, like you can feel it pulling. Um, it's, it's very easy to feel the difference. I wish I had some fake stuff. Um, actually, I guess I've got some. Uh, I guess I've got some uh, quarters, some regular quarters and stuff. Let's see, let me dig into my girlfriend's wallet over here off camera. Oh wow, she's got a lot of money in here. Shit, she's been holding out on me. I didn't know she had that many 20s. Anyway, so, got some regular. Wow, check this out. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Um, 1990, 2006. 73. Let's see if this zinc penny. Let's see if the zinc penny does anything. Yeah, I'm actually getting movement out of the zinc penny. Wait. So what is the point of this? I thought this was supposed to determine if it was real or not. This obviously isn't worth a shit. So I'm not touching the coins there. They're they feel. Let's see if they feel how they feel compared to the. They feel equally as magnetic. It's of course it doesn't feel as. It feels about the same. Yeah. It, the, the quarter feels. The, I think this is made of, uh, I believe, nickel and copper, and it, it feels just as magnetic as this uh, silver coin. So yeah, what? Can someone explain to me why we're using magnets for this? Because this doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, there goes my video. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, back to the main topic at hand, though. Uh, regardless of this little folly with a magnet, uh, keep stacking. We had a, a huge run up uh, this past Friday. It was only uh, actually the entire market shot up. You know, it's nothing on silver or gold specifically, but uh, a key thing to notice is is whenever the entire market as a whole shoots up, it's not always the case that silver is going to follow. Um, usually, it will. But in this case, it definitely did follow and even surpassed. I think we saw a 2% plus increase and uh, definitely didn't see a 2 plus increase in the, in the Dow. 
Um, I watch a lot of guys on the YouTube, and uh, a lot of them speak about, you know, how about we're going to see um, possible big changes coming up. Um, it's going to be a really interesting time, especially with this fiscal cliff that we've known, known about forever that all of a sudden the media has decided to harp on. Um, well, you know, once you get the public in on what's going on, once once they're made aware, that's when we're going to see these big changes. And hopefully, um, people will key into what's going on. If this fiscal cliff thing goes through and everybody's taxes are increased, um, I think we're going to see a big sale in the stock market simply because people don't want to pay those extra gains, especially medium to short-term holders. Um, I, I don't think there's going to be a lot of hope for the market. Um, this the, the next two months, let me say it's November 25 right now, I'd say between now and uh, February 25, three months, these... Uh, I've been watching the market for a long time, and, well, a long time considering my age, I'm not terribly old, but several years, and um, I, I feel like this is going to be a very pivotal three months. Um, I hope not, because um, just like you, the reserves, they're not done. I know you guys are... are uh, creating your own silver reserves and if you're like me you're not done so the, the longer that this stuff can can wait um, the better it'll, it'll give us more time to stack but I think the next three months are going to be they, they have the possibility of the potential of being very pivotal but uh, as always guys keep stacking